I'm Louie, and welcome to Redneck Workshop. Today I'm going to teach you how to prepare something I call Meatloaf Surprise. Today, my meat source may have some bones attached, so take off whatever meat you can and place it into a plastic bag. All you do is throw your meat in a bag like this. Next, what we're going to need to do is compress this into a loaf which is why I put it in this plastic bag to begin with. But plastic bags are very, very weak, so be careful. Don't hit it against your girlfriend or your wife or a tree. What you want to do is roll it up like this, and you're going to want to put some pressure on it. So what I do is I just simply sit on it. Ugh. Don't rock or anything. Just stay on top of the meat. And make sure there's no bones in it. I made that mistake before. I couldn't sit for a week. Now sometimes, with certain combinations of meat, they don't bind well together. As in this case. So it needs a little binding agent. Now that should do it. Now this may not be appropriate for all consumers, but I believe in recycling. Now it's time to compress the rope one more time. Yeah, it should bind now. That should do it. It's amazing what a little biomatter will do to form a loaf. Now it's time that we cook the loaf. But before we do, we're gonna have to grease the pan. This should do it. We'll just let that cook and we'll turn the camera off and with the magic television we'll see what it looks like when it's all cooked up. It's amazing what one could cook up using the elements of the land. And with my loaf one good thing is with each bite the dental floss is built right in. Now I don't have to brush my teeth for a week. Well, that's it for now. Join us next time on the Redneck Workshop when the Redneck Workshop examines the various forms of birth control. Get your wire hangers ready and prepare to get your hands dirty along with me, Redneck Louie, next time on the Redneck Workshop. Bye!